What is going on guys and today I'm bringing you a brand new video. We've got some methods that are going to make you a ton of coins today or in a week's time if you want to use these players as investments. They are all very good sniping filters but as I say can be used as investments. Now myself I have put well I'm about to put 100k into each of these players. We've got four for you and all of them I'm going to pick up a ton because the investment is going to be insane. Now if you do enjoy this video make sure to drop a like down below, subscribe if you are new with notifications on. And without further ado, let's get into it. So guys, today we have a sponsor and that is FIFA Exchange. They are a really reliable and cheap coin site. So you can get your Xbox and PS4 coins for FIFA 20 or when it comes out FIFA 21, they will be rolling over. So they're gonna be reliable this year and next. So make sure to go check them out. The link is in the description and a massive shout out to them for supporting us. Now, as I'm sure all of you are aware of, the market has done somewhat of a U-turn at this point in the game. EA has released an SBC that guarantees you, I believe, an 83 plus Bundesliga player. Now, obviously, right now, that SBC is ridiculous. Obviously, you could get one of the best players in the game as of now. Obviously, every player has gone up in price, but I've got three or four here that will make you a ton of coins. They're all investments. They're all sniping filters, but they're all still very cheap. So first of all, we're going for Bakayoko. And the reason we're doing these players is because I believe the next team of the season is going to be League One. Now, that means that in about a week's time, all of these players are going to be required for an SBC and they will shoot up. The German investment that I, I can't even speak. The German investment that I advised last week or advised last week doubled. So all of the players that I advised doubled in coins. Now we're going to try and see if we can get sort of one or two of each player. Uh, they're all going for, I mean, you can see him here. He's going for 1.4. So you could pick him up for literally 1.3 or below and make profit. Obviously we've got a 950 there that we've missed. Obviously a bit of a shame. So we'll go from 1.3 because I'm investing in these. So I don't really need a brilliant snipe, but we got one there, cannot complain. What I'll be doing is, obviously, I do want to do some of these League One packs um, next week, but to be honest, investing in them is probably the best way to do it. Invest maybe, I mean, I'm going to put 100K into each of these players. I'll sell off 300K's worth, save sort of a ton of each player, and then I'll do the SBCs like that. Maybe buy a couple, uh, but I've obviously got some in my club already. Now, I, the reason I'm suggesting this is because Right now in the game, it's not easy to make coins. There's not a lot of content. I mean, anything you sell right now will go because of the SBC, but after tonight, that's gone. You know, after tonight or tomorrow, it's not going to be beneficial to anyone to be doing that SBC. So all these players are going to skyrocket down. And all of these uh, snipes can be immediate profit. So it's not like you're forced to use this as an investment method. I know you guys uh, come here for mostly sniping filters. So I'm providing that, but we're also giving you the other option of something that's a much more important investment. Like this is an insane investment which will make you a very good amount of coins. So it's definitely not something to turn your nose up at. Um, you can go a ton into unassigned. So what you want to do is like with some of these, obviously you can buy them and then rather than storing them, you can literally just back out. Now I've got quite a lot of space on my transfer list, so I'll get a ton of these first, uh, but then we will obviously go into unassigned as far as we possibly can. Now I have predicted that it is going to be League One Tots next. There is a very small chance that it will be Syria, but it doesn't make too much of a difference. These are still going to make you profit right now. They're still going to make you profit in a week's time. <coughs> if I could stop sneezing, that would be great. We're going to grab these two on the market here because they are the only ones. We've got a 1.3 and a 1. Uh, and then we'll just see how much he's actually going for. I've got him here on Footbin as 1.4. And I've got the five players that I want to use I can't even get the numbers right. The four players I want to use in front of me just to check how much they're going for and a rough price that's reasonable to buy them for. We've actually managed to get a 1.3 and a 1, and he looks like he's going for 1.5. So it's good snipes there. We'll go at 1.3 uh, for the minimum here. You could realistically do 1.4 for the investment, but if you're sniping, you want to go 1.3. Um, I'm sorry if I'm speaking a little bit fast. I've just done a little bit of boxing and some weight stuff, so I'm a bit sort of amped up, but... <laughs> I hope you guys are keeping track and obviously enjoying and understanding the method. Now, I am massively like pushing this whole investment idea right now because it is dumb how much they go up and the fact that everyone in the game is aware that these league rare packs are out. They're always doubling every league. Like right? no matter what league you go for, no matter what player, they're a minimum of 2K. So 
you know, obviously only rares, but they're a minimum of 2k. So why is not everyone advising this? I don't know. A lot of, I mean, SBC tips, a lot of those guys, they've all said, get rares from each league sort of the week before and go for it because it does well. Um, I know a lot of the traders think unique riggers. I think SBC tips as well. They all have a ton in underside, under, underside, underside. So we're just going to scroll through here quickly and see if we can grab one more of this guy before we move on. Ah, oh, someone's knocked him up. At, you know, we'll buy that one just to get it off the market so there's none at 22. Uh, like nothing past an hour and then what we'll do is we'll compare price and see if we can grab one if we can't we'll move on uh, in a moment hopefully we can get this done as quickly as possible i do want to say guys if you want around here make sure to subscribe we're just going to grab that one anyway make sure to subscribe because the the channel is doing really well and i do appreciate it um but i want to get us to four possibly even 5k by the end of the year um, and we can't do that without new subs. So if you are new around here, please subscribe. The content is daily um, and I'm trying to keep the quality as high as I can. I know I've been working recently and, and the quality stayed the same, but obviously the consistency isn't as good in terms of uh, timing and stuff, but I can assure you daily videos will stay the same. We've managed to get our third or fourth one of him. We're gonna go for, I think we'll go for Warris next. Um, just make sure we get the spelling right, it's Warris. Double R, it's just Boris. Right. Majid Roris. So a lot of these guys are really cheap anyway. Like the investment potential is I mean, what you gotta think about is when you're doing an investment, how likely are you to lose coins? I mean, oh, that's not what we want. Boris. Wait, what? Is he currently a League One side or a League North side? He's currently a League One side, so that league that was a what? Let me just check that. That one that came up was a League NOS player, which means that one would be absolutely... I bet that one's like 5k. We might have just missed a ridiculous snipe. Um, we'll go for the regular one anyway. Um, let's have a look. His League 1 card goes... Oh, it doesn't go for that much more. 1.9k. So to be fair, not a ridiculous snipe. It would have been quite upsetting to see that his untransferred card went like ridiculous uh, but we're going for him here 1.3 again um obviously we're aiming for under that but you know it, it is what it is a lot of these cards the brilliance is people will just get them i to be honest i'm massively guilty of it as well like when i last did like a pack opening type thing i'd get a player that was like 75 rated and just list him up for a k because you want to just get rid of him and then i wouldn't really check the price so People do that a lot, and, and it's not uncommon at all. Uh, it doesn't look like he's coming up, so we're going to knock it to compare price instead. But it's not uncommon at all. Oh, I can't even speak. It's not uncommon at all for people to do that, where they just list it up. Lazy listing. Like, you know, you get lazy buyers, you get lazy sellers as well. And we're just going to see if we can grab this guy. If not, I'm going to switch him out because if we can't grab many of him, it's not worth investing in him because you want an easy one to pick up. We'll say another 10 seconds. I would suggest having a look at this guy, but right now it doesn't seem like anyone is getting him listed. Right, so we're going to move on to Kalinic. Uh, and then what we will do, I'll add a bonus player in at the end who will only snipe one up, but just a bonus one in there for you guys. Ron Kalinic is Kalinic. It's an 85 Kalinic. Uh, we'll add one where I only snipe one of him, but I show you guys the investment. I will obviously have a few in my own assigned anyway. So Kalinic there, 1.2. He goes for 1.5 actually. So that, you know, fairly good snipe. Decent profit off the bat. We'll just check anything at 1.5, nothing. 1.6, nothing. 1.7. So to be fair, these are all sniped anyway. When, like he's a decent profit one. Uh, let's have a look make sure i mean he might be going for a fair bit to be fair uh one point at uh, one point eight he's there a lot 1.7 so 1.6 and below i'd say for him because that's a decent profit off of the base just picking him up and um, let's see what we can do here uh, the likelihood is the next time i do a video i'm gonna have half the coins because i'll most likely uh, be whacking an absolute ton into league one res uh, and just putting them in another sign because it's the best thing to do and then i'll bring you methods but i just will have to unassign everything um we've managed to get another one at 1.4 brilliant so we're going to move on final player i'm going to pick larson you because he is 1.2 apparently but i don't believe that because 
Footbin is a little bit slow. La son. Mule, there you go. Wait, what? Okay, right, we'll go for the gold because just to make sure we are getting the gold one. And make sure we aren't going too far over 10 minutes for you guys. Okay, we're about dead on. And let's have a look. Make sure everything's recording correctly. Brilliant. Um, oh, 950. Brilliant. And we'll take those two 1.3s anyway. Um, let's wipe those up. So, I mean, realistically, that was the last one of the video, guys. I said I'd only grab one. We managed to get three nice snipes on him. Um, and what I'm, I genuinely, if you've got more than 200k, put 100k into League One Rares. It's not going to go wrong. It won't. Even if League One doesn't come out tomorrow, it will go right in two weeks. So it's not like for a long period of time you're going to be out of coins. Worst case scenario, I'd stock up on more if you get the time. Um, and just grab as many as you can. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like down below if you have. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys tomorrow.